Good morning, guys. Michael Bland here with Shadow Company Investigations in St. Louis, Missouri. Just wanted to address this uh, Texas shooting uh, with these uh, young kids in the elementary school. You know, being a retired police officer and owning, uh, you know, private investigations company now and having seen a lot of, you know, horrific things that, you know, most grown men live their whole lives and never see or deal with. You know, the magnitude of something like that is literally so, you know, too big to comprehend. And I think the, you know, the first thing that just hit me with that was the level of evilness there. You know, people always look for an excuse. You know, and I always laugh at people are like, well, why did the guy do it? You know, and it's like, well, does that really matter? I, you know, I've just kind of learned there's different ways of thinking. There's, uh, I've learned different things, uh, ways of thinking you know, as an investigator and as a, you know, police o former police officer. And then, you know, having worked with a lot of attorneys and your mind starts to rewire and look at and analyze things, which makes you better at dissecting and analyzing things. But I mean, yes, as part of the investigation, you always have to answer the, the who, what, when, where, how, and why. But when something like this happens, it's just pure evil. That's why. And it gets into other topics. And it gets into, the, you know, the kind of truths that I've learned that people don't want to hear. And what I mean by that is, and we all have different religious beliefs, but, you know, as an investigator... When I look at the why here in this case, I can tell you that it's also the reason our country is in the entire state that it's in. And this country has turned its back on God. And so until people change, you know, um, and go back to what this country was founded upon, which was God, then you're going to see this stuff happen every day day and there's so many aspects of this shooting story i just wanted to mention that first and then moving on to the things people normally like to focus in on um let's talk about school security you know school shooting has been happening my whole life uh, first one I know of in Kentucky, uh, where my friend went to school at. Uh, so these are nothing new, folks. In fact, those happened way before any of these kids that were just killed now were even born. And, you know, in St. Louis here, we have school resource officers. Many other states, I'm sure they followed suit. I don't know what that school in Texas had for school security, but I'm sure it's safe to say it wasn't that great, or if any. So that right there, there's no excuse for. And to assign blame now and do anything about it, they can put in the best security in the world now, and it's probably not gonna happen there again. What I've just learned, <laughs> it's so frustrating is people's heads are just totally screwed up. And I'm talking from the top down, from the lawmakers, you know, law enforcement either not wanting to do their job or being um, not being allowed. As When I was a cop, we called it being handcuffed, you know, where the cops are handcuffed because they're, they're just not allowed to do anything anymore. You know, no one respects authority anymore. The generations being raised are not being raised to have any values, any honor, any morals, or any respect for authority. Not respect themselves, not respect authoritarian, um, I'm sorry, people in positions of authority, teachers, principal, parents, grandparents, law enforcement, judges, you know, um, elders, a janitor in a school, anyone. Anyone that back in the day actually would have been allowed to spank someone else's kid with no problem. I mean, life, I've learned, I'm 47, life is not this complicated, you know, and, and what I've learned is we make our own problems. And 
we have people running this country that are just extremely creepy people. And, and everyone questions their motives and if they're even able to run the country. And it's clear they cannot. Um, you know, the same week, the U.S. was having to fly in military cargo planes full of baby formula from Europe just to feed our babies in this country. But yet, within 24 hours, we were telling China that we would go to war with them now if they invade another country. So it gets into branches off into many tentacles of many different topics and discussions, but I feel ultimately the real topic here is the is the direction this country is going. Again, as an investigator, I look at things differently. You can focus in on the small details, but I like to look at the overall picture. And then you you know, and then the thing is, is how do you prevent those things from happening? And it all just points back to me to the way because tomorrow or a week from now. You know, and for whatever reason, these school shootings and these mass shootings are happening more often and more people in each one is very concerning. Uh, I will address you conspiracy theorists out there. Um, I try to stay middle of the road on that. Years ago, there was a book. I have not found it or read it. There was a retired Green Beret that wrote a book and he stated, he predicted that in the years in the future, meaning now, that they would try to take away the weapons in this country. And the way they would do that was they would be there would be massive amounts of school shootings. And I guess I guess they figured if there is anything behind that, and I'm not saying that this was some conspiracy theory on this shooting here, but um and Biden even brought that question up. Why this country? Why all the mass, you know, the active shooters in this country? And I think that's a very interesting question, intriguing question. Because uh, like he even said on his speech, there's there's mental health in every country around the world. Especially in third world countries, which this country's definitely turning into, by the way. Um, so, you know, are the schools... Doing a great job with security? No. Law enforcement? Totally inept in this country at this point. Combat ineffective. They're usually reactive, a reactive force anyways. You know, law enforcement's not standing arm to arm around schools with SWAT teams. They respond. Usually things are over by the time you respond. In this case, I believe the kid even shot two officers, which is unreal. And before he died... You know, at this time, at this t date and time in this world, with our technology, with our levels of security, with everything else, there is no reason that even one child should be killed. Not one. There's no good reason or excuse. But they will have excuses for this. They will have their reasons. You know, security was off that day. School was too small and they couldn't afford it. Um, he somehow breached the security. The school resource officer was at lunch. You know, everyone in this country also is taught to do one thing. Live off excuses, pass the blame, fire someone, and then hope that that just appeases everyone. But the funny thing is, none of that solves the problem. And, <clears throat> I mean, these kids that survived this, um, also like the president had stated, these kids are going to be ruined for this. They're going to, they're never going to forget this. They're going to have nightmares. They're going to relive this every day, the rest of their lives. Hopefully they're, they receive uh, the help that they need to recover from that because they will be forever changed. And the parents that have had kids that went to school there that lived and died both, they're going to be the level of trauma is just going to be off the charts. Um, these kids that saw their other friends literally executed and lived. I, I mean, you know, it's literally like stuff that a veteran sees in a combat zone or a police officer seeing his partner killed and stuff again. So 
the fact that this has become acceptable now in our country, if that doesn't concern you, you know, officers ever since the Ferguson riots have been open season and no one cares. Uh, before that, uh, when I was a police officer, there was officers killed every day. And the other unknown little statistic that they keep quiet, you know, more veterans, military and law enforcement are killed every day by suicide as well than ever die in the line of duty. You know, but, um, but now, I mean, the crime rate and the especially the crime in St. Louis, and then these mouthpieces, these political leaders, these governors and senators, these lawmakers, these mouthpieces like to get a little photo op on the news and talk about how they're going to have a crime task force and bring in the law enforcement, you know, the highway patrol and the feds. And what's funny is nothing changes. I laugh every time I see these news articles, or news videos, whatever. As they stand there with their fancy security in the background and other political leaders, and nothing has changed. And now you have this stuff happening. And there's no excuse. There's no excuse for this, for like I said, the security level. The school should be on lockdown. There should be CCTV cameras being monitored by someone 24-7. There should be metal detectors. There should be school resource officers. And there should be more than one. And usually there's, you see one at the schools. I can tell you that's not enough, and it's not safe for that officer that's there. There should be a minimum of two, depending on the size of the school, maybe four, maybe six, maybe eight. And you know what? Then people say things like, who's going to pay for that? Well, I can tell you, you're going to pay for it one way or another. You're going to pay for it with money, or you're going to pay for it being responsible for the deaths of all these little kids. I mean, a nine and 10 year old, you're talking about the most innocent, pure, honest, precious. I mean, you know, any, I, one thing I learned from law enforcement is anyone that can abuse or harm a child or a pet, that's pure evil. That's why, that's the what is going on here. For those of you who are confused or looking for that, to try to rationalize this. It is evil. And evil, you can always recognize because evil will strike at you where it counts. Meaning, you know, this isn't somebody who just went and broke some windows out of a car. Where you could get over this in five minutes. This is something so horrific that a person cannot even comprehend this. And that's when you know. That is pure evil. It's because the devil wants to strike you. You know, he wants to make it count. And again, this isn't a religious topic video, but me being a believer, being a Christian, praying every day, you know, staying awake while everyone else is asleep and putting the blinders on and, and being in tune with myself, being situationally aware. And just being not programmed like everyone else. But, you know, until people decide to change and stop accepting these things as commonplace, then this is going to keep happening more. You know, I guess the question is what's next? You know, is it going to be preschools? I mean, veterinary clinics? What, what's going to be? It's just going to keep escalating and it's going to keep hurting people worse until people finally stand up and they don't accept this. What I predict also, we're talking about Texas, one of the biggest pro-gun states and pro-rights in the country. Uh, you know, where the last true Americans probably live, the last frontier, if you will. I, I predict right now, and since it's illegal to open carry, most states anyways, you're probably going to have a lot of veterans, a lot of civilians um, posting up at these schools, providing security on their own. Since our government, state and city governments are not going to obviously be able to protect the people, which is their job. 
I would predict that you're going to see some of that um, good guys like myself pulling security with their ARs and their tactical vests because people are only going to take so much. And the direction I see things going in this country is always what I just call private justice or that type of thing where if the government's not going to do their job, then eventually you're going to push with the wrong guy. And he's either going to retaliate back when he gets no justice or he's going to pull his own security. And that's just common sense. And I think, again, you get to ask that question. Why is the government not performing its duties? It's paid to do by taxes. Why is it not all performing and providing the basic things in society called law and order? Which, by the way, if you don't have those things in your society, then you have the things that are going on now. If those are acceptable, then by all means, just proceed. You know, writing your lawmakers... Voting for the right guy, I think we're pretty much past that, you know. Uh, things in this country are deteriorating, I mean, hourly. And some people, and I have friends I debate this with often, they try to say, well, the news is just covering it more nowadays and they're making it look like there's more incidents. That's total BS. <laughs> These things, this magnitude and this frequency, I've not seen happen in any other point in my life. But again, these mouthpieces just want to get on TV and talk about gun laws. Boy, good job, guys. Those gun laws really helped this. The problem is, you idiots don't understand, is that criminals don't go by gun laws. So the president getting on the news and talking about standing up to the gun lobbyists, I just laughed and said, here we go again. It's all about, it's the, it's the AR's fault, you know. It's the assault rifle's fault. It's guns. That's the problem. It's not people. And I'm the most pro-gun guy there is, but there's this little space there in the whole spectrum and this little void, which I have trouble answering and filling in, even myself. And that is this, that does a guy... Some 18-year-old kid on a border town in the U.S. on his 18th birthday runs out and buys two ARs. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, again, I think it's great we live in a country where we have that right. But to me, kind of a red flag. I mean, does this kid even have a job? Uh, the kid looked like pure evil when I saw his picture. I don't know anything about him. I'm glad that he is gone from society now um, and no one has to deal with this, but that's not going to fix anything. And revenge does not fix anything. And revenge belongs to God. So, you know, and, and God is going to let us go through this because until we change, then... And, and, and take it upon ourselves to be better people and fix things. He's going to let us go through this. He's going to let us see just how bad it can get. And I can tell you, it can get much worse. Just ask people that live in Mexico that are stacking 10 deep on top of trains to make it to the U.S. Because the cartels are dismembering people in main intersections and rolling heads out in the middle of the street. Um... Everything that's happening everywhere else is is on its way here. The U.S. has always been a country of freedom and democracy and being able to own guns and freedom of speech. But, you know, evil has always had its crosshairs in this country because it wants to take away those things. And communism and everything else in between. I think some, you know, things are going to keep escalating and things much worse are going to keep happening. More frequency, more casualties each time until law enforcement is fully backed and allowed to do their job again. 
you know, the cities are taken back and people are actually allowed to feel safe again. I'd like to guys hear your questions, comments, concerns. If anybody has any questions on any topics I mentioned, I'd be more than glad to make another video and give you my opinion on that. Again, these are all my opinions as a 25 year investigator, as a Christian, as an all around righteous guy. And of course we all have different opinions and different religious beliefs, but in the, I'm 47 and my, the, the time I was raised and brought up to have morals and values and honor and know what right and wrong means and respect for authorities. Um, you know, things have obviously changed. This is not the world I was raised in. It's now clown world. So again, Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.